This is a bipartisan delegation. With the Democratic whip, with the majority leader, we're both number two in our respective conferences. We're bound together to come together as one nation for all Americans to help. There's so many things you can read about and watch on TV, but you will never know until you get into the inland part of Puerto Rico and actually talk to the individuals. The ability to drive and see the roads that are washed out, to see the challenges to the families, but I will tell you this, the humanity, the optimistic view of individuals, and the tenacity. When we went down to see a washed out bridge, I saw the governor run across, Jennifer next, and a number of our members followed. When we climbed the ladder to get to the other side to speak to those individuals who have been kept across because of the bridge being washed out, we talked to this retired police officer who sat there at his house and looked across and wondered how could he help those who were on his other side. He went to Home Depot. He built a zip line with a cart and all so resources could get across. That ingenuity is going to continue to build and bring Puerto Rico back. We're here for two reasons. The first reason is to see the consequences of the extraordinary uh, devastation, the extraordinary storms that hit Puerto Rico. Uh, we have seen that. And as Jennifer Gonzalez has said, not just San Juan, but we wanted to get into the interior of Puerto Rico because we knew it was in the interior that it was most difficult uh, to salvage, uh, to restore, and to move forward. And the second reason we came to Puerto Rico is to tell the Puerto Rican people, the American family that they belong to is with them, not just for the short term, but for the long term as well. We understand that many of our fellow Americans in Texas, in Florida, in Puerto Rico, and in the Virgin Islands were savaged by some of the strongest storms that we have seen in recent history. We are determined and dedicated to ensuring that Puerto Rico just does not build back to what was, but build back to what needs to be. Builds back to 21st century standards so that when another storm comes, as surely it will, Puerto Rico, from an infrastructure standpoint, from a grid standpoint, uh, from its hospitals, uh, from its food distribution, distribution, will be ready. I won't repeat what's already been said, but I think it is very clear. We have seen much, and I think we've realized that it is because of the resilience of the people of Puerto Rico that not only will this nation recover, it will be better because of that. And we pledge to go back to Washington and not only tell our colleagues of our experiences, but also are committed to make sure that any obstacle to a speedy recovery is removed so that we can do the best things for the people as quickly as possible. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the hospitality. I'm very proud of Puerto Rico.